I want to put my kids to find that man who played with my life. I want to find him because my life now is very hard. I don't have a life now. Ayan has come to meet the local police chief. She wants to track down the man who tricked her into a sham marriage. Next slide. Wait, see now. Where can I find him? Last week he was here. Mm -hmm. So now if he's here or not, I don't know. Okay, give me give me his number. Hello? Please can you come to my office? My name is Ajawahir Muhammad. I am the area chief of Islin North Sublocation. And I have your wife here. Your wife Ayan Isa Salah. Complaining of uh, disowning of your child. Please can you avail yourself in my office? Give me time frame. 11 o'clock, thank you. Okay, welcome. Just wait till you will come. Okay. And then we will solve your problem. Next okay. customer. This is Eastly, a district of Nairobi, where a growing number of women have been reporting serious cases of male exploitation. They are victims of a form of sex tourism. Somali men from the West travel here to have sex with young women, but do so under the guise of marriage. It's known as vacation marriage. Most of the population in Isli are Somalis. Uh, it has also become a popular destination for Somalis who live in Europe and America. I have come to meet Ayan at home. She's staying with a friend because her family have thrown her out. Why? Like maga ay nadiga ku ayare gara ano kente. Wala si hata man lo la rosa hala ay wata na tika ay rado wata na wala rosa. Adi la kilo guma rosa ul ka ugu reba gara ano kente. Ila dana isma na akil gi isma jali wala. Lo lo la lo lo mesa no ni ano kiyo. Na la kuno na na mesa no. Displaced by war and poverty, many Somalis settle in the West, but they regularly travel back to East Africa. Some of the men who come here use brokers to seek out brides, who are virgins or clean, as they call them. To conduct the marriage, all they need are two male witnesses and a so-called sheikh to give his blessing. But when the men return to their families in the West, their new brides are abandoned, no longer a virgin. Their dignity and honor within society is gone. Yasmin grew up in the Kakuma refugee camp. She moved to Nairobi after losing both her parents. <laughs> and it's here she met a Somali man from London. 
asagu ma ku tay wa u sheegay mu danaynin ila haddana wax uu socday malaha she reported her case to the police and his relatives but she says he tricked her again wuxuu ku yiri markaa wa nolosha aan badalay waxaan ku qaban ku yiri anagoo planki ku jirno u dhahay guri soo raaso guri soo raaso intee guri ma ka heshi iso sheeg aan planki aan ku jirno u imaado u dhahay gabar walaashay imaado inuu ka keen aan soo tusaa waa soo laabanayna waa hande waa u leelibisay caani waxa saa ugu shuba u qaatis mo dambe mo soo noqonin ba Police are trying to crack down on these so-called vacation marriages. But men know that dollars and a Western passport can often help them evade justice in Kenya. Hello, children officer, how are you? Morning. I have a case whereby the person is an alien from Somalia. The father is nowhere to be seen. Every morning, women queue up to meet Jawahir Muhammad, the only female Somali police chief in Nairobi. She sees more than a dozen women a day complaining about male exploitation. Women here trust her because she understands their plight. So she gets this man, came from Europe. He promised her heaven whereby he will not do anything for her. When he gets her, the few months that he's been given visa to stay in the country, he will stay with her and get the marriage. You know, he will take her to a sheikh, she, they will engage each other. This lady, she can get disease for, for, for first, she can get disease, she can get pregnant, and this man, when he goes back, he leaves her in, in a pathetic way. So. This lady, she doesn't know how to trust this man. This lady, she doesn't know the way forward. She is there to suffer alone. Night after night, we met with men who boasted about marrying young women. None of them wanted to go on camera. But a group of young Somali professionals we met said this practice was an open secret. When uh, a guy comes solely just with an intention of sex tourism, it's a very big global phenomena. Guys go to Thailand, to China, to Asia, it's everywhere. It's in everywhere, it's actually an issue that's been talked about, but not in the Somali societies. I believe girls have some bit to play. <laughs> I mean, we can all say 100% men are the problem. Once this guy comes, her intention is to exploit as well. There are some girls who live below a one dollar. They don't even have a dollar yeah. to use for a day. That's what is happening. So when that, this girl tries to change her life, tries to look for work, she goes to a guy. Well, the only thing that he sees, this girl is vulnerable. She has nothing. She came up to his door to look for work. So the only thing that he thinks first is, can I use you first? You get it. And some of these women end up in East Lee's red light district. It's where 17-year-old Jamila works. Yeah. <laughs> Jamila was only 15 when she met Mahat from America. She was forced into sex work after being abandoned by her family. Jamila wanted us to show her face, hoping someone would help her. 
And then dun po ako nagiging tuwing ahala na tayo mo ito bene. So, ha? Mamukul sa wala na yun. Ha? Gusto rin siya. Wadi pa ala dahil ako na mesa na lahat din siya. Ano tida ba ako sogad na ako sogad na guru na ang skabahibis? How does it make you feel that Somali men are coming here to abuse young so girls? So as a mother, I feel very, very bad to see a woman who has made either a child or does not have a child, but her, her marriage is not settled. I feel very bad. I could urge those men who are coming to marry, let them fear God and sustain the marriage. Ayan never did hear back from her husband. His 11 o'clock appointment with the police chief never happened. But Ayan hasn't given up trying to find him.